Hello everyone, this is Angelina. I'm an IELTS coach and a language trainer and I welcome you back to another really important video for those people who are applying for skilled worker visa UKVI and they are supposed to take four skills test that is reading, writing, listening and speaking test language cert. B1 or B1 language cert. B1 language cert secure English language tests to work in the UK. It is used for many other purposes as well, for study visa as well and for startups and other things. But in here, I'm in particular talking about work visa. Let's get started now. Here we have the time of the test. Language cert, total time, two hours and 55 minutes. Reading and writing accumulatively two hours and 10 minutes listening for 30 minutes and speaking for 11 to 13 minutes so we can keep it like around 15 minutes now let's move to the second point how many questions do you have to answer for each module in language cert in language cert reading test you have to answer 26 questions and if you get 13 answers correct this means you get a pass and if you get 18 answers correct this means you get a high pass Oh, uh, here is a test of language cert. Here you have it. Like, look at this part one. So easy. Just multiple choice questions. Can you see that? Little cute questions. Yeah. And then we have part two. In part two, we have complete the sentence. You already have the options given. One option is extra. You have to complete the sentence. You have to put half of the clause in here, half of the clause in here, and you have to complete the sentence. Yeah, so I think this is easier. And then comes part three. You can see small, small, small paragraphs. Not too hard. These paragraphs come from personal letters, advertisements or offers you can read that you know it's sweet and then we have seven questions here very nice questions in which paragraph this information is mentioned you can choose any letter more than once and complete this one and then comes part four it's a little bit lengthy but you can see it's just short answers you have to write three words at most you have to write maximum three words you can write one word two words but not more than three words. Language cert writing task is very easy because task one is a letter or an email and task two is also a letter or an email. Now the task one is a bit formal or you can say that it is based on a response to an advertisement, an offer or anything like it. But you would get to see, uh, see a brochure or a pamphlet or maybe something you know you you would get to see that and after that you will read it and you have to explain about it in your email in just 70 to 100 words good news just 70 to 100 words that's one plus point now task two in language cert is only 100 to 120 words it could be an informal letter Mostly, it is an informal letter to your friend or somebody you know. You talk about something so casual, either spending holidays together, celebrating birthdays together, or maybe selling uh, some furniture to your friend. But it is something so common that you would not find hard to write. Okay, moving further, moving further to the listening task. Biggest, biggest point and good news for people who want to take a listening test. Language cert recordings are repeated twice each conversation is repeated twice and look at the number of questions uh, you just have to answer 26 questions and the recording is repeated twice and you can see in uh, part one you have about six to seven questions in part two also just like this and part two and part three right and uh, also part four you can see that like short question answers in part four Gosh, you need to understand this, that if a recording is repeated twice, it can save you from failing. With search speaking, uh, part one, examiner will just ask you, what's your name? Uh, spell your family name. Where do you come from? And then examiner will ask you five uh, questions about different topics. And examiner will tell you, okay, now I will ask you some questions about watching films. What kinds of films do you like to watch? Now I'll ask you some questions about uh, playing sports. Uh, what kind of sports do you like to play? And then moving further, we'll have, uh, um, you know, a few more topics and then role play. 
role play. This is so interesting that the examiner is involved with you uh, in the conversation. Uh, for example, the examiner will give you a situation that we are both friends. I start, would you like to go for a cup of coffee with me tonight? And you say, yes, of course, I would love to go. Uh, what time can you pick me? And I would say, oh, yeah, um, I'll pick you around 8 p.m. So you say, yeah, that's all right. Let's meet tonight then. Okay, so it is like this. This is a conversation. And the second situation is uh, we are working together and you want my help. You start and you say, uh, could you please help me with my project? And I'll say, yes, of course I can. Uh, what happened? Uh, you could not complete your project. And you say, no, I was busy. I wasn't feeling well at the same time. So I say, okay, don't worry. I'll help you out. Yeah, so this is role play. After that, we have... Uh, uh, this section that is called plan and decide together examiner shows you some pictures four to five pictures and then says that okay let's plan and decide together maybe you want to buy a gift for your friend and you have not decided so we will both start i think we should buy our friend um a ring what do you say and you say no i don't think so that's a good idea let's buy the friend um um a mobile phone or maybe a camera anything like it so examiner will show you photos like this you have to plan and decide together with your examiner then comes the next part that's part four in this section examiner will give you one topic and you have to talk about it for 90 seconds or maybe the topic is your memorable day at school or maybe the topic is uh you know your birthday celebration or your favorite festival anything like it you have to talk for 90 seconds once you've spoken about it, uh, you have to answer follow-up questions of your examiner. So I hope you understood. This is the entire pattern of the test. Thank you so much for watching. This is Angelina signing off.